In this video, we will learn how to graph rational functions with its asymptotes. Here we have a rational function. First thing is try to expand the functions. Now here we can see it's x minus 4 the whole square. It's in the form of a minus b the whole square. We have to remember the identity. It's a square minus 2 times ab plus b square. Now instead of a and b, we have x minus 4 the whole square. So it's x squared minus 2 times a is x, x and it is 4 over here plus 4 squared. Now please remember the signs are already mentioned in the formula. So a and b is just the values, not the sign. So it'll be x squared minus 8x plus 16. So this is the expansion. So this question is basically x squared minus 8x plus 16 divided by x plus 2. So you can see there is no way we can simplify any terms. Now the degree in the numerator is greater than the degree in the denominator. So then we must know there will be a oblique asymptote. Now we will come to that in a while but before that before we have to graph it, we need two important things. The vertical asymptote is always the denominator made equal to zero. So for the vertical asymptote, I will just make x plus 2 equal 0. So x is equal to minus 2. This is our vertical asymptote. So in our graph, at x is equal to minus 2, there will be a asymptote. Now what next? You can see this degree over here 2 is greater than the denominator by 1, you know. So 2 and over here it's 1. So there is a difference of 1. Then we can directly jump to horizontal asymptote. Here what you basically have to do is do the long division method. Now you can go to synthetic division but it's better to do long division because sometimes the numerator might be complicated. Now what it means is I have to do x plus 2 divided by x squared minus 8x plus 16. Now we need to simplify this, divide this basically. What do you have to multiply here to this terms to get x squared, the first term? It will be only x. x times x is x squared and then plus 2 times x divided by over here the signs change. So you need to change the signs of both the place and cancel it off. It will be minus 10x. And now what do you have to multiply x to get negative 10x? It's just minus 10. So x times minus 10 will be minus 10x. And over here we have 2 times minus 10 is minus 20. But I forgot to do one thing. I forgot to bring this down. This comes down over here. Now you have to change the signs here. So when you change it will cancel off. And here the remainder remains. The remainder is 36. But we are not interested in the remainder. You can skip this. You, if you get this much, that is more than enough. This is the horizontal asymptote. So we have the vertical asymptote. We have the horizontal asymptote. And now you just have to make a table of values and graph the function. Now for the table of values, you can directly use the calculator and make a table. I will show you now. Now we need to press more and then press the stable option. That is option number seven. And now let's type the given equation or the simplified. It's up to you because this will anyway simplify it. This is easier to type. So I will just take that one. It is alpha x minus four the whole square divided by x plus two. Now press next. Here in your latest, if you have the latest model of the calculator, you get this. Ignore that option, just press equal to. Now, where do you want to start? Now, we know the asymptote is minus 2, right? So generally, we would start few values below the asymptote and above the asymptote. In the sense, I will start, say, minus 5. I can end it anywhere. I will just take it as 3. So I have made this as my midpoint and then step one means you will have a interval of one between minus three, minus three to minus five to my, uh, plus three. That means you will have values of 
minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, and so on. So I'll keep the step 1 over here. Here it is negative 5, all these values are there. Just make a table of value, write these values down and then graph it. So we will just look into the answers now. We can see we have done this already. The uh, horizontal asymptote is also done. Now we can look over here, the value, see from minus 5. It's minus 27, minus 32, and everything is there. Now, what about minus 2? We know that the horizontal asymptote, can you see over here? Sorry, vertical asymptote is minus 2. So, it's undefined at that point. That's, that's why it's an error. All the others, other values are matching. So, we can stop there. And then from these values, you should plot a graph. And you should use these information as well, what we got. We got the vertical asymptote over here at minus 2 and we have an oblique asymptote or a slant asymptote over here. So whatever these values, if you start plotting, it will become like this. So you generally get something like this. Okay, And it's understood you have to draw a smooth curve. That's it. Even over here, you would get points something like this. And then when you join it, it will be a smooth curve. So that is how we graph it. All these problems can be done the same way, just that you need to use the identity and then uh, simplify it and then start the vertical asymptote, horizontal asymptote, table of values and graph. Over here, once you are in this mode, you can just press on and put in this equation and do the same procedure. Here they have found the zero. Zeros is whatever is the numerator made equal to zero. And then you got minus three. At minus 3, you will have this equation 0 at the, in the numerator. Now, denominator over here, you can see they, you ought to just use the... For the asymptote here, we can see the degree on the top is 2 and down it's 1. The difference is just 1, so we will have an oblique asymptote. So, you have to divide the above term, which is expanded. x squared plus 3 times 2 is 6x plus 3 squared is 9. And then we divide it from x minus 3. Do, do this method, that is x times x is x squared and then minus pi times x is minus pi x and then x times 11 is 11x and so on. Simplified, only the equation is required. This is the oblique asymptote equation you can see over here. And then we just make the table of values and graph it up. So this is how we do it. And same thing over here, the equation is already expanded, it's easier. Please do try this. All the detailed steps are there over here. And even this is the similar method. I will go, go to some problems which can be simplified. Now say for example, this one is also the same method. You can see. And important is table of values. Get that table of values in the calculator itself. And from this just table of values, you will ha have a brief understanding of how the graph is. You can predict the vertical asymptote and the oblique asymptote somehow, you know. But it's very easy to find the vertical asymptote. So always just make the denominator equal to zero and solve. Whereas for the oblique asymptote, here you get better understanding as well. So similarly, you can solve these. Okay, now these problems are interesting. Here, what you need to do is to solve this, you can use the calculator easily. If you go to mode 5 and 3, then you can solve any quadratics. That is 1 over here, then we have minus 2, and lastly we have minus 8. And here the answers are 4 and minus 2. So we need to split it in terms of x minus 4, x plus 2, and then what happens? It cancels off x minus 4, x minus 4. So you're remaining only with x plus 2. So the simplified version is what we graph, isn't it? We just have to graph x plus 2. But remember, from the original equation, we can infer that 4 made this undefined. So we have to avoid this. We can't use it in this equation as well because the original equation was this and then we simplified it. But what about the denominator? So we make a hole at the denominator at the undefined values. That is x is equal to 4. So we make a hole that is point of discontinuity. So the point of discontinuity in this equation is at 4. Similarly, you can graph the others. The graphing is very simple. It's just x plus 2. 
here as well first please split out this term and then you can easily solve it up this terms cancel x minus 2 x minus 2 you will have a discontinuity similarly this one as well you can use the identity x plus 5 x minus 5 or you can use the calculator mode 5 3 and solve it up here is the discontinuity similarly over here as well and now over here you need to split the numerator and the denominator when you split it all two of these denominators get cancelled off so what happens is here what is the zeros it is x equals 4 that's over here and x equals 2 so here these are the values for that i mean undefined points for this particular equation and uh, here as well we just did a similar problem just now the question number 21 here in this problem we can see that the degrees are same it's power 1 and power 1 so in this case we need to remember the horizontal asymptote will be at the coefficient of the numerator divided by the denominator it's 1 and 1 so the horizontal asymptote will be at 1 imagine you had some different coefficients say we had 3x divided by 2x plus 3 then it will be 3 by 2 at this point there will be the horizontal asymptote the vertical one is always this denominator equals 0 and then you can easily solve it up now this is simpler just get the table of values you can directly do this in calculator and graph it up same way this one as well, this one you need to split it out point of discontinuity will exist at x is equal to 2 over here as well simplify it then draw what is remaining and don't forget the discontinuity point now what about this problem here x is in the numerator that's degree 1 but the denominator degree is more whenever this happens the horizontal asymptote is directly at 0 so the final answer see the denominator over here can be split these are the vertical asymptotes but where is the horizontal asymptote here it's always at 0 whenever the numerator degree is less than the denominator and here as well you can easily solve it up because there is no degree over here the degree in the denominator is greater than uh, than the numerator we have horizontal asymptote at 0 and the other points can be easily found out by the table of values here it's a big one but you should just go to mode 5 and 4 split it out and then simplify all the uh, simplifications and then you just get x minus 2 but don't forget the discontinuity points and the last problem here we can see the degree of the numerator is bigger than the denominator so what happens over here is we will have an oblique asymptote here there exists an oblique asymptote which is missing but once you do it the denominator that's the vertical asymptote table of values and then in fact you have to do the oblique asymptote here it's missing but anyways that would be the answer somewhat like this but there's oblique asymptote that's the end of this particular topic it's graphing please remember mode and seven you can easily find all the table of values in the calculator and then it's just about plotting points another easy topic but please practice more problems